I will uh, do the disclaimer part, Chandra, if you want to bring that screen again. Again, welcome everyone for Falls and Oak Village. Uh, this is a 409 unit value add apartment complex uh, west of Fort Worth in the hot DFW market. Uh, this is a true class B investment opportunity. So we're going to take you through uh, the investor presentation and answer any questions you have. So let's uh, go to the disclaimer chart. Uh, this is something that we have required to do. Uh, a quick disclaimer, information contained here in this presentation is confidential and is solely for the use of providing information and education for prospective investors of Falls and Oak Village apartments. While the information contained in this presentation has been compiled from sources we believe to be reliable, none of the representatives here make any representations or warranties as to the accuracy or completeness contained herein. All financial information used in these presentations and projections are provided for reference only based on assumptions relating to economy, market conditions, and other factors that are beyond our control. All references to acreages, square footage, and other measurements are approximations and must be independently verified. Investors are advised to make investment decisions after reading the PPM and subscription documents that will be provided. Uh, this is a 506 c syndication open to accredited investors. All right. And uh, quickly, what we're going to cover today, uh, we'll talk about the executive summary for this offering. Uh, the team will introduce ourselves. Uh, so we've been working together for a while now. So we'll introduce ourselves, uh, talk about the sponsor portfolio, and talk about projected returns of this investment. And we'll cover uh, some of the, you know, everybody wants to know what's going on in the economy and what we think uh, are, how is that going to affect uh, overall performance of any investment, not only this, in, this, pro this property. So we'll cover that. And then we'll go into property overview and location overview of this particular asset. And then talk about why you should consider investing in this and make this part of your portfolio, your overall investment portfolio. Then we'll get into the business plan, how we, what we plan to execute at this property after we acquire the property and talk about the financials and the projections, and then talk about the acquisition timelines and uh, and some of the key facts about the property and what we anticipate post COVID, uh, the growth and some of the things that we are seeing in the market. And then we'll talk about how you can invest in this opportunity. With that, we'll introduce the team. Uh, I'll go on and introduce myself. Uh, my name is Joseph James. I'm a commercial real estate broker and a coach. Uh, I've been investing in multifamily for several years now. Um, I have more than 1,000 units, almost 1,100 units in my portfolio currently. Uh, most of them as a general partner, about 500 of them as a limited partner. Uh, my main job is, uh, you know, I'm also the founder and CEO of ROI Muse. ROI Muse is a commercial real estate technology and coaching and training company. So we have trained and coached more than 2,000 agents and investors using our platform. So I will turn that over to Chandra to in introduce himself. So I'm Chandra Mishra. Uh, I'm a physician. I uh, have invested in uh, thousands over uh, close to 300 million in transactions till now. Uh, I, I'm an anesthesiologist. That's what I trained in for 15 plus years of RE experience. I'm a member of CCIM and Forbes Business Council. Uh, the reason we do this is because uh, there's a significant need uh, of alternative investments in the market. So people have an ease and availability to invest in these and uh, grow their portfolio and grow the passive income. So that's the purpose why uh, we all do this. And uh, Eva, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today with uh, Blue Ocean Capital. Uh, my name is Eva Mishra, and I am, of course, part of this wonderful team. And I have uh, an extensive real estate background, being a, a property manager back in the day. And I'm also a business coach, along with being a a invest. An inv I'm sorry, a multifamily investor. Um, I'm also very well. Uh, connected with my community, specifically the city of Colleyville, as well as our school district. So um, I am a very huge on networking and, you know, connecting people to the right investments. And I look forward to all of you, um, you know, uh, learning from this wonderful webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Tony, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. 
I am just was looking through the um, roster and I see a lot of familiar faces here. Thank you all for coming here again, once again, for the new people who don't know me. My name is Tony Anthony. I'm also a real estate developer, investor. Uh, I also do land, I do Montessori schools. Uh, I have done ground up construction. So I've been in this business for about 10, 15 years. Along with uh, Joseph, I am also one of the co-founders of ROIMuse.com, a deal analysis and lease analysis software. So we, as Joe mentioned, like we also train brokers and, um, and real estate agents, right? So check it out, it's ROIMuse.com, who haven't seen this. Um, engineer by training, marketing by profession, and also real estate is my passion. I also like crypto. So if you guys want to talk to me about crypto, you can email me or call me up. I know some of you do. Anyway, thanks once again. Um, please ask questions. Like we have a wonderful team. Today, most of the presentation will be done by Chandar. Um, we'll be supporting him. Uh, Joe, of course, is a CCIM and he can answer most of your questions. Reach out to us if you have any other questions. Okay. And that will be all. Hi, guys. Uh First of all, very good evening. And unlike the other people you heard just now, I'm a newer member of this team. Um, having said that, I have still invested in, I think, four projects with, with uh, Blue Ocean. My background is I'm a real estate um, investor and operator, and I've been doing this for 15 years, both residential and commercial. Um, in the commercial, uh, on, on the retail side, primarily. And I have a pretty, you know, extensive portfolio, but on the multifamily side, about 500 units. And I love this team and I'm excited to be here. And I'm also looking forward to getting to know some of you. Amit. To Amit. Thank you, Garma. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. So my name is Amit Darnule. I am a anesthesiology and pain physician here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, my investment experience has been in about 25 years in the market. Uh, I've been investing since I was in college. It's something I've always loved to do. Um, and then about 15 years ago, that expanded into building ground up surgery centers, medical office buildings um, for surgery centers, and then expanded into restaurants and hotels. And then eventually found my... Um, my passion with apartments and providing a needed housing that's uh, in desperate need right now. So um, I've invested in both uh, multifamily as well as single family and uh, really excited to be part of the Blue Ocean Capital team, bringing this offering to you and, you know, providing a strongly needed uh, resource for, for people to have good quality housing in a, in a good, safe environment uh, that I think will uh, become a strong investment uh, for the long run. And uh, of course, we would like to hear from Brenda. She's our VP of operations and she's here. So Brenda, unmute and tell us uh, about your experience. Yes, hi, my name is Brenda McKendrick. I've been a real estate agent for over 20 years. I've uh, managed a large portfolio up to 40,000 acres, up to 250,000 square feet of high rise building commercial space, um, least uh, majority of those. Uh, also been working for nonprofit uh, companies in the past and also have trained realtors, um, you know, to be able to expand their portfolio as well. I've been in the business for um, uh, many years and, I'm, and real estate has just always been my passion. So I'm very glad to be part of um, and bring my experience over to Blue Ocean Capital. Thank you, Brenda. So we'll get started. Um, so what excites us about this deal? And, and to kind of get to that point, um, the reason we are here is primarily, as you know, it's built out of relationships. <clears throat> we got this uh, offering. It was, uh, it was a marketed offering. Uh, but on the other hand, the sellers are, uh, we have a very good relationship with them. And that's kind of in, including with the broker. So they have been very instrumental in us getting this deal. And this is a community which was built in 1980 to 1976. The two communities joined together to build this 409 units. It says 409 because that's what it's there. By the time we close, there'll be one more unit added. 
it's an institutional class asset, as you see, it's a larger asset, and it's over uh, $50 million acquisition cost. And when you see this asset, you will realize, in, as we go more deeply into it, there's a huge uh, upside potential which sits in this, primarily because the previous owner has spent over $5 million in capital improvements, siding, roofs, paint, common areas, amenities, so on and so forth. This is an asset where you don't have to uh, dream about putting washer dry connections. And that's like one of the important points I want to point out because there's several um, apartments which I have taken over personally and we had planned to put in washer dry connections. But ultimately when we went to put in washer dry connection, the cost of putting in was close to $2,000 just to put the connection. But in this one, we already have in, it says here 86% of units but close to 91% of the units have this um, washer dryer connection. So, which is kind of big plus for us. It's a huge source of ancillary income uh, by providing reserve parking, valid trash, and utility cost savings in general. So, all these are we are giving you at the front end. And we'll talk a little bit more about what's happening specifically to that area. And that area is kind of growing. Um, we were just looking at these slides and uh, Amit pointed out. Uh, so we, we included an extra slide in there that uh, what's happening in terms of single family build, which is around that area. So as far as the amenities goes for people who live in, uh, there are the two swimming pools, there's soccer fields, there are playgrounds. It's just a pretty open, if you watch the video, you will see it's a really open uh, community. So a little bit about Ourselves, we have, uh, uh, we had in the same uh, vicinity, Marabella Apartments, which just kind of like sold in month of January, although this is what not a big home run because the high yield maintenance of Fannie Mae loan. But uh, what's important is that in this property, Marabella, we grew this property from 94 cent rent to $1.49 per square feet rent. And this property had no no amenities. The only amenities we could put there was a dog park and the laundry facility. Uh, we own uh, Las Lumas and Brooklyn Point in El Paso, Spring Hill Village in Houston, Carriage Place and Candlelight. Uh, we did sell Carriage Place and Candlelight, uh, made uh, pretty good returns for our investors. We still own Spring Hill Village in Houston. And so what what are we doing uh, moving forward with this property is we have uh, our LOI accepted uh, early part of uh, July. Then we had a PSA effective date was July 13th. Uh, we took some time to do our due diligence and that include the third party reports and everything else. And that's why we are bringing you this property to you as quickly as we can. Today is our investor webinar. Subscription period will end uh, middle of October. So there's a not a lot of time and the target closing date is end of October uh, by 20th. A little bit more about our portfolio in that area. We, as you already know, we took over the Mercury portfolio and we had HM Garden 1 and 2 and Country Oaks and Saddle Ridge and Weatherford and other uh, apartments we have in, in Dallas area is White Rock Lake, which is 136 units. But uh, today we should be uh, getting ready our 12 unit studio by the weekend. Uh, that should be uh, going live to get our completion uh, certificate. So this 136 will become 148 units. Uh, just so you know, um, adding those 12 units at even 120, like the new construction in general is about 200 bucks a door. So adding those 12 units would kind of nearly create 60 or 70% return for our current investors for White Rock Lake. So this is, this is the type of property we see and we, we get. Willow Creek, 162 units. We have found three spaces in there which we can convert into additional units. And uh, all the investors in Willow Creek already know that it's really a rocking property. Um, there's another property we own is Haltom Oaks, and uh, it's a small property in Halt uh, in uh, Halton City, and it's really uh, doing amazing. State uh, state of the markets, what's happening? So as you know, what's happening in real uh, in in stock market, 
And why do we need alternative investments is primarily to give us some balancing act to like what's going to happen in general. There is, there's, a, there's a big fear of what's happening, how much correction is still going to be and where it all will end up. So it's very important. Uh, the workers, 65% uh, of the workers don't want to go back to the like workplace. They want to stay at home and work. So COVID shutdown has created these new realities to which we are still trying to work through. What's the new norm? I mean, uh, all of you, we watched Dow fell, falls over 1,000 points nearly. It was 530 points in one day. NASDAQ plunged about 3% based on the inflation report. So what is that inflation report? It means 8.3% uh, inflation, which government says it is, or 9 or 10%, which you see, which is there, uh, means that if you have a hundred thousand dollars sitting in the bank it's losing its value by 10 percent each year so and if you put it in the stock market uh it's going to go up and down uh based upon uh, several factors which are beyond our control investing in real estate allows uh especially with multifamily workforce housing allows you to kind of capitalize on that inflation and be more aligned with it to help you grow your portfolio for future, because what happens is that that 10% is not working against you. That 10% is working for you. So you invest in 100,000, you know, the inflation goes 10%. It means that 10% is getting applied to your cost, to your value of your property. So if you have like a million dollar portfolio, you already have your money instead of going below by 100,000, it goes above to buy, a mil, buy another 100,000. So it's something which you need to uh, understand. And it's very important for busy professionals like physicians and other uh, people who are busy doing their normal work. Like they don't even have time to look at the portfolio, the stock market, what's happening on a daily basis. And despite of I'm so aware about it, still I can't look at my uh, retirement accounts, which I still have to hold in stock market and make corrections and constantly making corrections to those things haven't worked in my last uh, 20 years of investing in the stock market. What has consistently worked is investing in real estate. And, and that's what I'm here to share with you with our team, uh, which has years and years worth of experience it means you saw like 15 plus years. And People who have spent 15, 20 years combined, I was just looking at it. The team itself has between five, six people. We have over 100 years of experience uh, just sitting here uh, in all this uh, in this area. So why invest in multifamily? That's another question is why not just go ahead and invest a single family home and go from there? Because the cash flow is the big part because you combine those uh, <clears throat> resources and put it in one place. Plus you can do forced appreciation. What is forced appreciation? It's basically the value of your property goes up based upon the net operating income. And uh, Brenda can talk to you more about it. Uh, she focuses mostly on decreasing cost, uh, increasing revenue, and constantly on the case of the PM to uh, monitor and manage that NOI, net operating income. More uh, in the NOI, it grows. So for every dollar at a 5% cap rate, you are getting $20 in return. So every dollar we increase the NOI, you get $20 in return. So think about it. Where can you find a business at a 5% and where you have an increase in NOI by $1 and you can get in return 20 bucks? And that's something which kind of keeps me going here because I know that my future and our investors' future is in is in good place if I have a control over certain things. Economies of scale. So as you can see, there's 410 units. So if you go start think about buying 410 individual single family homes, it will take you at least, even if you have a very well oiled system, years to kind of accumulate that. While you can come in and be a part of this 410 unit deal and, add, and really not have to do much, uh, just invest uh, and allow the whole system to work and get your passive return. So uh, that's another part to understand is that you invest the money you don't, and these are existing apartments. 
I do get this question multiple times. When are these getting built? No, no, these are not getting built. These are cash producing assets today. You, we use the professional property management. Uh, they are in Burleson. And I'll show you the picture uh, that Benbrook Lake, Burleson, and all that area is right there. They're very well versed in this area. The bigger part why we are going to go in there is primarily two things. Uh, resiliency in the volatile markets. We do not know what's happening, but we know that we can always count on the brick and mortar. Uh, when I moved in 2008 uh, to Texas, uh, my home, the one which I purchased, was $410,000. Today, that home is valued at a million bucks. Now, someone can say, hey, it's not a great return on the investment, and I understand that, but that $400,000 home hasn't disappeared you know, into nothing. Uh, I can tell you several hedge funds and several uh, stock market investors where $400,000 disappeared in a single day based upon where the market went. Uh, and especially if you trade options in futures, so on and so forth. Um, and Tony can teach you more about options. He's a master in that. Tax advantages. Uh, so most of the money uh, goes in and gets returned. And there are certain tax advantages. The way you that income gets accounted to you, there's certain built-in tax advantages. And just so you know, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a no, tax consultant. So whatever I'm saying, just... Uh, always discuss with your uh, tax professional. I'm just sharing my information here with you. So other big tax advantage, which is only available in 2022, 2023 it starts going down is basically 100% bonus depreciation. So in this, whatever amount you invest, initial calculation is about 65 to 70% of that amount will be available to you uh, primarily for, uh, for you to deduct uh, as, as a depreciation especially for a real estate profession. <clears throat> Even if you are not, you can carry it on to the next year and take advantage of that later on when you uh, become one or uh, offset other passive incomes. Do discuss it with your tax professionals about it. And over the period of uh, hold of six years, we will have it uh, close to uh, on like 85 to 90% on a five to six year hold. So like if you invested 250,000, basically you'll get the depreciation equal to that much. So if you look at this slide, I still love this slide. Uh, and I like to show, you see the real estate on an average uh, returns are 9% and the risk is 4%. So look at the risk at the bottom. And if you don't get anything out of this, uh, this talk, uh, do understand this because this is, this is the key. Uh, because if you invest in real estate, and if you pardon my ignorance, uh, till I came to US, I had no idea about stock market. So all I had done from my childhood to this time, whatever wealth I created is through real estate. And we still continue creating real estate both in India and here. So you see your returns are 9%, but how much are you gambling? Risk is 5%. So even if you have a risk adjusted return, of 9% uh, minus 5%, even you say you're going to get a return of 4%, even if you adjust it for the risk. While on the large cap and small cap stocks, you can get 9% annualized return, but look at the risk. The risk is anywhere between 15 to 20%. And so if you do risk adjust your return based on that, you are going to get minus 7% to minus you know, anywhere minus seven to, you know, 11% or a longer period of time. So this is the data from 1993 to 2013. And it depends upon which stocks you kind of got in and which, when did you get in and when did you come out? So in a normal common element, the whole part is don't lose your money. So if you lose, lost 11%, next year you have to make 22% for you to kind of bridge that gap and then make more to kind of go up on that. While in real estate, the big part which I see is that you don't lose your basis. If you don't lose your basis, the amount you invested, most of the time you're going to go higher and higher. Why apartments? So uh, this is very near and dear to me. One is you're helping people. You're, you are providing 
you are an instrument, even if you didn't make any money, you are an instrument to provide a fair housing, a good place for people to live and raise family. And that itself is, is a great job to do because you are, there's not many big corporations which are coming and investing money uh, in these kind of assets, yes, but like smaller assets, people are not not putting that much money in. So you are the person you are you are the person who is the bigger investor of the middle market, and in the middle market, you create a big difference. Think about it: four hundred ten families, how much life it will change for them uh, if you, just from your investment and spending more money to make it better. So I personally believe it is a superior asset class. Now, as far as today, what it exists is a four hundred nine units. If you just want to get a overall picture uh 409 units vintage of 1976-1980 uh 48.6 million is the purchase price we have we are going to put in more 4.09 million loan proceeds are 31.8 million plus capex ltc which is loan to cost is 73 percent equity raise in 19 million non-recourse bridge to perm loan uh, minimum investment is 100,000 and 250,000. There are two different classes, class A and class B. LPGP split is 80 20. We kept it straightforward. There is no waterfall. There is nothing. So we are in it with you completely. Uh, we only make money if you make money. Entry cap rate is 4%, exit cap rate, which is very good for class B assets and especially with the upside. Exit cap rate is 5.2%. The reason it's higher is primarily because to create a building safety. And also we'll share some data, which is projecting that on an average, the cap rate is that's where it is going to be. So even in a six year return, a six year hold, most people will say just add 0.1% per year for the cap rate, but we are kind of have doubled that. A total passive return, uh, we are projecting will double your money in five or six years. Average cash on cash is 5 to 7% per return. Bonus depreciation, which I talked to you about from the cost segregation study, is 75% of the investment total. It will go up to close to 80%. Plus, if we add in our capex, uh, it, it will be significantly higher. IRR is 17 to 18%. So this is kind of like the overall view of this uh, offering for you. Who are our partners? Uh, the platform you're going to sign on is Syndication Pro. Kelly Clark uh, Legal uh, PC is basically our uh, attorney law firm. We use them all the time. McElvin and Associates are our CPA. Class A Management is our property management company. And Bank Corp is our lender. So look at this beautiful property. I mean, there's so much space and uh, it's, it's amazing uh, to walk in and have such a big space available to you and we'll see more so let's look at the location what's happening in the location so dallas fort worth has had a significant absorption uh, of all multifamily, and there is texas in general uh kind of is responsible for 26 percent of multifamily demand in third quarter so just so you know that and it's still extending because there's a significant job growth happening significant uh, job growth and rent growth and uh, the cost of living has shifted so much, but still people cannot afford to buy their homes. So they are planning to live in apartments and they're planning to live for a long period of time. So let's look at what's around this property. And this is kind of very interesting. If you see this, the falls in Oak is in the corner uh, and in, in here, and uh, in this area, if you see, it's right next to 820 and 30 Junction. So from here, there's a lot of uh, very close to the schools, uh, a lot of uh, nice retail shops, very close to Lockheed Martin. And it's really not far from TCU and uh, Fort Worth uh, City and the medical district. It means you can reach there in like 11 minutes. And and that 11 minutes was with the traffic for the medical district and so on and so forth. So it's, and see what's happening on the other side of it. This is kind of magical. So we have uh, Walsh Ranch, which is 
uh, and there's also a proposed Rivian automotive production site there. And there's a wheel wrench, which is uh, the Walsh wrench itself is huge. It is 7,200 acres, about 11.4 square miles, which is about one third of the size of Manhattan. So you have 2,300 acres of open space, 770 acres of corporate commercial use, 32 plus miles of hike and bike trails, eight elementary, two middle schools, one high school, and 50,000 potential residents with 15,000 plus potential homes. And the homes are going to be priced close to anywhere on high uh, 200 to 300 to 1 million. And as you know, uh, there's nothing in 200 uh, new home uh, being built in general. Wheel Ranch, which is another 3,790 acre ranch development, is five miles west of Fallen Oak, as you can see. And it's literally like five minute drive from there and has a it, it has a population which can support for 30,000 in general. And as you can see, there's a Benbrook and you can see the Benbrook like. And this is what's very interesting. And I, you, you just, this is something which I just shared with you. Now look at what's happening on the west of that highway. There's such a huge development which is going on. And that red mark is the false enough. So from there you go to Kroger and from there you just go on there. Uh, to you can go to hop on to 820 and you can hop on to 30. Uh, you can just go more towards Weatherford. And there's a huge, huge development uh, going on all that. Uh, it's right next to All Saints Episcopal School and temples and so on and so forth. And it connects very well to the Weatherford and other areas of employment. So we are investing in workforce housing and for workforce housing you need places around where people can work and we are very very uh, confident that we have a ton of places on and just very close proximity to this property where it allows people to go into the fort worth allows people to go south allows people to go north so you take this a20 you are uh, back into the mid cities and Denton and so on and so forth. You take this 30, it uh, turns into 20, you are to Weatherford and, and so on and so forth. So, very conveniently located for our uh, prospective tenants. A little bit about property. You can, you can see it's a aerial view, it's beautiful property. Uh, you can see now when you go to see a property, you look at what's already there. You see there's a significant amount of covered parking. You see nice, beautiful uh, courts, which need a little bit uh, affectionate care to take it to the next level. They also have this uh, nice uh, wave kind of, they, they, they have these pools, but they also have this cascade, water cascade, which just flows into the pool. So this is a property which has been well taken care of and has been has gotten significant amount of cash infusion. So to understand it from my perspective, when you are infusing that much cash initially in the property, there is a significant lag to which you can recap that value. And the reason it is is because there's so much going on at the property that it is it is not possible to kind of raise the rents and do all that because PM company can only focus at a certain point. And so you need extra staffing to focus at other places. You need extra staffing to focus on uh, everything else. And Brenda can tell you that uh, we have our own core team. You know, we have office manager along with her VP of operations. Uh, as a VP of operations, we have people uh, who are our construction managers who are just all around. And uh, his name is Alfonso. He's not here today. But they are all around looking at where uh, they can help to get the property back uh, to the highest level of performance. So most of the time, if you're just relying on PM to get everything done, usually it lags. So you have to be very actively hands-on uh, on the property to take it to the next level. And that's very valuable to understand and see like what kind of team is there in the background to help these properties as they come online. A little bit about what's happening in that area. 
the projected population is growing. As you can see, there's 2026 population in five mile radius and 156,000, which is a big population. Three mile radius average household income is, is 73,000, which is very good. And median home price is 361, like I said. So it's it's pretty significant delta between getting this property and trying to um, living in a property like this versus trying to get into <clears throat> a rent a rented place. So if you have to spend 360 when you have to pay a significant amount of mortgage, interest, and insurance, and maintenance, so on and so forth, uh, it's it all adds up plus taxes. While when you go into rental space, it's much cheaper com comparative to that. And as inflation grows and the cost of living goes up, and that's another part. So this is just a brief uh, elements about the property. And you can see average effective rents. The rents are on much lower side. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. It's currently when we got this property in the contract, right before that, it was called dollar weight, then it bumped to dollar twelve. Now we are close to jump, jumping close to dollar eighteen. Uh, so significant improvement in all that. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, very low density property. It's uh, only 18, 19 units per acre, and and that's very evident. That's why you are not getting a huge uh, cost seg depreciation because there's a lot of amount of cost already allocated to the ground. Uh, there is multifamily and rubs are already in place. So we are not reinventing the wheel here. And fish roof was in 2017. The wiring is copper. So there are no surprises in general. So you can see the square footage, so on and so forth in this. Uh, these are some exterior views of the property. There's nice playground and very well uh, pointed uh, places and just a little bit of love and care. It's going to just spring up. Renovated units, as you can see, this is a like standard renovation package, claimed emitters, uh, nice fixtures, uh, backsplash, black appliances, uh, resurfaced countertops. And there are multiple case studies in that area which show that you can easily get in the market, the current market rent is anywhere uh, close to $1.36 to $1.57 per square feet. So we are hoping, we are uh, taking this property to what the rent is there right now, like $1.36. Now, another thing which I really liked about this property is basically the floor plan. There's significant multiple floor plans available. And you can see uh, two bed, one bath, uh, two bed, two baths. And also each one of them are in different styles, plus there's a significant amount of townhomes. And also uh, along with that, uh, there's these different floor plans have a very unique characteristics, uh, characteristics like closets, um, multiple ample space on the balconies, and uh, interior spaces, each one is very, very neat and unique. And the studios are also good size, 530 square feet, which is kind of like very, and there are 16 studios. And this 188 units are one bed, one bath, which is kind of like significant driver of the rent. You can usually drive up uh, the rent pricing on that and uh, drive up the three bedroom and two bedroom are always in high demand. So what's driving us here is potential to increase rents to market rents before and after upgrade of the units. Uh, one of the things we do is we just go in directly with the rent where we want to be and basically uh, renew at those rents and drive up the tenants, uh, tenant services and drive up the basically our service level, customer service level and uh, move up there. Uh, we have uh, an ability to buy this at a comparatively lower price compared to market and other properties in some market. So we are close to going in 118 to $119,000 a door uh, on a class B asset, which is, which is kind of like unheard of. Some people are getting in at 100. Now, even in this market, close to 120s, um, 125 to 130 a door. And then ability to sell it at high price. And uh, that basically has to be determined by market cap rate, but we have already taken into account uh, as we go forward. So a little bit more about rent comparisons. As you can see, um, $1.37 on Windrush, Medores, uh, it just traded hands. So rents are much higher. This is like older data from um, older data from CoStar. It hasn't been updated that, mu that much. 
Uh, the other important part is what happens with occupancy. You can see the average occupancy in this area is 96.4, 96.5. Average studio rent here is false enough, it's significantly lower. Uh, you can see the rents are much higher even for the studio. Uh, the same thing with the one bedroom rent, uh, two bedroom rents, and three bedroom rents. So we try to keep our property 75th to 90th percentile in general. That's our sweet spot and we push. And uh, one of the biggest example is our Mercury portfolio. And uh, in Mercury portfolio, we purchased um, last year. Uh, no, we purchased early part of this year, sorry. And uh, like we closed in February and then everything kind of rolls into one eventually. But this is uh, this was 40, valued at 46 million. We purchased it at 33 million. And we are already raising the rents on their property, I think third time. Uh, Brenda just finalized the rents with the PM company and we just raised the rents all across the four properties. So <clears throat> we are very aggressively pursuing a higher rental revenue in all our portfolio. This is where the rents are, rent rents. This is again the data from CoStar. It lags behind a little bit, but this is where, where it is. You can see Dallas Fort Worth rent is close to somewhere high, dollar uh, 40s. And I, as I told you in my uh, earlier part of conversation, Marabella, which I managed like a uh, mile and a half or two miles away, I had the joints there at $1.49 per square feet uh, before I sold it. And it still stays up uh, to this day with a high occupancy. So our occupancy was higher than 95% and the property was fundamentally doing uh, fine. This, as you can see in this one, the asking rent is uh, depicted by blue and the PM company, there was some issue with the PM company. That's a whole different story. And that's why those uh, rents were not pushed up where they needed to be. So that works in our favor uh, when we go and take over this property. And this is the effective rent, there's not a big difference. The other question comes to mind is, okay, what's gonna happen in supply? Are we getting more units in there? And that's not the case. Uh, next eight quarters, we only have 904 units with a population which is going to be about 100, uh, 156,000 in a couple of miles, you don't see much uh, inventory coming on. And all time annual average has been close to 300 units. What's gonna to happen to future? Where do we sell it? Um, average price per unit here has been around 213,000. Of course, that's dependent upon um, the age and uh, cap rate in the market, which has been significantly compressed lately, but even the future, uh, what's been projected that the cap rate will hang around 5.1, 5 5.2. What's happening to the sales volume? Um, the, that's another question I get some of the times. It's like, can, where can we sell it? And this is our uh, market sale price per unit. You can see 2025, these prices are gonna spring up more towards Southwest Fort Worth is going more towards 300 uh, per 300K per unit. And primarily this is, uh, this may be reflective of a little bit of the inflation. And as you can see, the curves kind of like spring up uh, in 2021, late 2022, and also account for uh, lack of supply and a higher demand. So the business plan, as you know, uh, we is totally to focus on interiors and renovate the units, uh, classic and partially renovated units to like fully renovated and new cabinet fronts, new cabinet hardware, installed stainless steel appliances. Cut down the head knocker and add granite to all units and replace uh, flooring with uh, wood flooring. So just give it open. This, this is kind of like a, has very nice floor plans just to utilize it. There is some opportunity to change uh, some of the one bedrooms into two bedrooms because of the size or two to three. We'll look at the demand. We usually assess the demand and go accordingly. Um, basically, we touched base on this, um, bring the rents to the market, uh, Bring the, and as we bring the rents to the market, of course, there's a shift in the tenant profile. Um, add income producing amenities, better customer service responsive uh, to tenants and creating value for the tenants. So currently we have a Google rating of 3.4, which is really not bad for a workforce housing, but we we would like to improve it better. 
improve it further. So one of the invest uh, the five to six year projected cash flow on a 250k investment is um, double your money. Uh, in year six, when we sell it, uh, we return the rest of it. Uh, 250k is basically 7k per uh, per hundred thousand. So you are going to get <clears throat> 1750, and we'll correct these slides uh, in general when before you get the deck. So 700k per hundred thousand will be the initial uh, return on it as a prep return, and the rest will come upon the sale. Uh, this is more reflective of uh, on a 100K investment, it's a 5% prep, you get 5,000 uh, year one, year two, you got another 5,000, year three, you get, um, it's a 5% prep, and then overall your investment value will be 200K. Uh, the investment total value will, for a 250K, will be 500K, so that still uh, is correct. Looking at the cap rate forecast for Dallas Fort Worth market is uh, is 5.1 in 2024 or 25, 26, five percent or lower. So what it is is like as the cap rates are lower, you are going to get a significant higher value uh, for your property. So let's suppose six years, six years from 2022, uh, we five or six years we are looking at 2027, and 2027 you're going to have a higher value coming to you compared to what you're expecting now. Post-closing, we do monthly reports. All investors will receive monthly reports, including progress, summary, occupancy, uh, cash flow, T12 financials, distributions expect first one after six months, quarterly distributions after that, and communication. Uh, and expect regular and frequent updates from us. We believe in transparency and open channels of communication. And we are always available to um, answer any questions. How to invest? If you scan that, that will take you directly to our investor portal and the reservations are open and you can reserve there. We will all send uh, our links and everything else uh, which you need, including detailed instructions. This is a compliant, uh, SEC compliant accredited investor offering only for 506C accredited, uh, accredited investors. Means we'll have a form for you to get signed by a CPA or attorney or any of the bank officials to tell us that you are, or there are some third party verification methods, which we can send you to, to get you uh, signed up. That's our portal address. We will do all the paperwork and everything um, online. And this will be open. Uh, this is open for reservation today. And this will open for subscription uh, Monday or Tuesday uh, as we get our uh, PPM and other documents coded. So again, um, the similar, uh, what I talked to you, we can wire the funds within seven days of completing the paperwork. We have a very short time, so like about a, a month to get this going. There's also a bigger interest from a larger equity firms because it's a good size deal and all those things are going on in the background. If we fill up quickly, we'll kind of close this. Um, how much is the minimum is 100K? How much maximum you can do is 500K? And uh, these are the facts about this um, investment. The other thing which I want to talk about is the fees. 1.5% is the acquisition fee, including capital event. 2% is the asset management fee. Uh, the PM fees can be anywhere 3, 3.5% 3 based on that. Um, we usually try to keep it lower, close to 3%. And most of um, the rest of the information is already there. Uh, we would issue a Schedule K-1, and that's the question I have gotten from multiple uh, people before. Uh, we try to rush this up. We'll be closing it this year, so we'll uh, rush through everything to get you your K-1 on time. And yes, we will do the cost X study this year, so you can get your bonus depreciation for this year. So on that, uh, I we are hoping that uh, with, with the cost X study done, you should be able to get 60 to 65 to 75% of your invested amount as a depreciation for this year. And these are our phone numbers. We all are very approachable. You can text, you can call, you can email, and we'll provide you with uh, our further numbers. So, and, and you can go from there. Thank you.